गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर फाइव दैट इज लाइफ इन टेम्परेचर जोन्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट थ्री टेम्परेचर जोन्स इन विच अर्थ इज डिवाइडेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ द डिफरेंट एरियाज सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द काइंड ऑफ वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ वी हैव इन दोज डिफरेंट जोन्स so the content or the topics which will be discussed in this chapter are climate vegetation wildlife and people of equatorial forest temperate grassland hot deserts and frigid zone so our world is divided into three temperature zones Each zone has a special kind of vegetation and animal life on the basis of its climate. हमारी earth three temperature zones में divided है which are torrid zone which is the hottest, then temperate zone which is mild or we can say moderate, not very hot, not very cold, and then frigid zone which is which is very cold. and most of the time it remains covered with snow so today we will study about the vegetation different vegetation zones which are found on the earth like equatorial forest temperate grassland hot deserts and frigid zone so today we will begin with the equatorial forest so in this slide in the table you can see worldwide distribution of rain, uh, tropical rainforest is table mein alag alag areas mein ya fir alag alag continents mein jo rainforest hai unke titles ki bane and you have to learn this table questions can be asked in the exam from it so we'll begin so equatorial forest equatorial forests are located on both the sides of equator and they are part of the torrid zone so in the previous chapter i informed you that torrid zone is on both the sides of the equator in the northern side and in the southern side in the northern side the torrid zone extends from equator to tropic of cancer and in the southern side it extends from equator to the tropic of capricorn so this area is known as with the term torrid zone so equatorial forest aapko torrid zone mein paaye jate hain aur both the at both the sides of the equator equator ke dono hi sides mein north mein aur south mein we know equatorial forest with the tropical rain forest also hum equatorial forest ko evergreen rain forest ya fir tropical rain forest ke naam se bhi jante hain and why we call these equatorial forest as evergreen rain forest because all the leaves or of the plant do not shed at the same time equatorial forest mein jitne bhi plants hote hain ya fir trees hote hain unki pattiyan ek sath nahi jhadti they shed at the different times of the year now climate very hot climate with very little variation in temperature so we find very hot climate bahut hi garam climate hota hai equatorial forest mein aur bahut hi variation means very little variation means bahut kam change dekha jata hai yahan ke temperature mein yahan ke tapman mein no variation in season seasons bhi change nahi hote uh, it is all the time hot climate there so weather is either hot ya to bahut zyada garam rehta hai ya fir humid means a lot of presence uh, presence of water is there in the air which is found in the equatorial forest region vegetation types of plant or main plants which are found in this uh, forests are mahogany ebony rosewood rubber and cinchona mahogany is a very uh, expensive wood plant uh, the wood of this plant is all uh, sorry tree is used for making the ships ebony rosewood and then rubber there is bit mistake in this slide by mistake i have written 
rubber it is rubber r u b b e r so you all know rubber plants are used to make rubber a cut is uh, made in the trunk of the trees and a liquid is collected from the trunk which is known as sap s a p sap ya fir latex ke naam se bhi jante hain aur usse jo aap ye erasers use karte ho wo banayi jati hain and shinchona shinchona tree ki jo bark hoti hai it is used for making the medicine which is used in the treatment of malaria basically only four trees uh, name are given in your book but there are so many species found in the equatorial rain forest now different types of vegetation or layers of vegetation found in the equatorial forest equatorial forest are very dense and they are divided into four layers the first one is emergent layer this layer con- uh, has all the uh, tallest trees of the forest sabse lambe jo trees hote hain wo is layer mein aate hain and these trees can be 200 feet high most trees are broad leafed hardwood evergreen sunlight is plentiful up there ab emergent layer mein jo trees hote hain unko sufficient amount of sunlight milti hai and animals found in this layer are eagles monkeys bats and butterflies now the second layer is canopy layer this forms a roof like structure over the another two layers which are under canopy and forest floor कैनोपी लेयर एक ऐसा लेयर है जो एक छत के तरह लगता है एंड ये एक लेयर बन जाता है ऑन द टू अदर लेयर्स ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट सो इट इज़ वेरी डेंस लेयर कैनोपी इज़ वेरी डेंस बहुत ही कम सनलाइट पास हो पाती है कैनोपी लेयर के नीचे एंड फूड इज़ अबेंडेंट फॉर एनिमल्स और यहाँ पर फूड बहुत है फॉर द एनिमल्स and animals which are found in this layers in this layer are snakes toucans tree frog toucan is a bird tree frogs red eyed tree fo- uh, frogs are found in this layer and then the next layer is under canopy very little sun sign reaches here bahut hi kam surya ki roshni pahunch pati hai is layer tak and the plants have to grow larger leaves और इसी कारण से इस uh, इस layer में जितने भी plants होते हैं वो उनकी पत्तियाँ उनकी leaves बहुत बड़ी होती हैं wide होती हैं so that they can uh, absorb a large amount of sunlight whatever is available to them the plants in this area grow to 12 feet means they are far shorter as compared to the emergent layer and the canopy layer the plants in this uh, area grow to 12 feet many animals live here including bahut sare animals yahan is layer mein rehte hain jaise jaguar it's a big cat then red eyed tree frogs and leopards and many insects as well then forest floor this is the layer of the forest where sunlight does not reach at all bahut hi dark hota hai yahan par aur plants ज़्यादातर ग्रो नहीं करते या आप कह सकते हैं इस लेयर में थ्राइव नहीं कर पाते हैं थिंग्स बिगिन टू डिके वेरी क्विकली सो द लीव्स विच विल टेक नॉर्मली वन ईयर टू डिकम्पोज जो पत्तियाँ एक साल लेती हैं डिकम्पोज होने के लिए वो एवरग्रीन रेन फॉरेस्ट में विद इन वीक्स डिकम्पोज हो जाती हैं एंड जाइंट एंड ईटर्स लिव इन दिस लेयर now we will study see vegetation the word vegetation means all the types of plants animal small uh, herbs shrubs creepers all are related to the word vegetation and wildlife if we are talking about the wildlife of a particular place it means we are talking about all the animals which are found, uh, which are found in the wild area of the particular place so there are a lot of species of animals which live in equatorial rainforest but in your book there are given some let us see what are these so this is the picture of red eyed 
frog this is a bird known as toucan and uh, this bird is very beautiful and here is the picture of jaguar wild big cat which is found in the equatorial rain forest there are so many other animals which are found in these forest but i have given the uh, some now we will study about the people those who live in these equatorial forest basically two tribes live in these forest tribes are the group of people those who remain uh, reserved from the communities like from the city people or the people those who live in the large settlements they are away from them so the first one is pygmies they live in houses made with sticks and leaves pygmies aise gharon mein rehte hain jo uh, sticks aur pattiyon se bane hote hain they are hunters and gatherers means they hunt animals for food and they gather whatever um, uh, whatever natural food is available in the forest for example berries fruits and roots whatever they get and they collect and eat it there is a slight mistake in the spelling of gatherers so kindly check it after r e one more r will come here okay then the next tribe is dayakas they live in long houses which are locally known as bitang or lamen dayakas live with their whole family extended means from one generation to another generation all generations are living together in one big house and these houses are basically built on the banks of the river banks of the river means nadiyon ke kinare ye apne ghar banate hain so that's all for today kindly watch the video again see in this chapter there are so many facts which you will understand and there are so many facts which you will have to learn so understand and learn do the both things today i have explained only one topic of the chapter so please do listen and watch the video again